Hey you guys, it's me Keanu coming at y'all today. I do have clothes on you guys. Of course that matches my earring. I actually found these earrings in the store that I didn't even find this dress in. It's crazy, ain't it? But anyway, y'all, I was going to come to y'all first about um the rumor that's going around, in case y'all ain't hear it. Um, Suge Knight was found and his cell did. And I had to come and tell y'all, but before I did so, I'm glad that I checked the story out. So, gonna find out as usual. It was one of those Facebook or whatever rumors. So, that report is now canceled. So, just in case you are like me and you actually heard, you know, the same thing that I heard, which is Suge Knight being dead, then just know that that was a rumor and he is not dead. So, um, y'all, mm mm mm. Y'all something else. But I love y'all. You know how it's like it's like when you had to sometimes spank your child a little bit on the bottom just to let them know not to do that again or let them know that don't go there with me. Sometimes I have to give some people a verbal spanking. But it's just like when you know, when when you have children and you do a, a little spanking you you still hug them and you love them afterwards, you know. Come on, and hug mama. You know, it's a, it's that kind of situation. So, all of you who you know felt some sort of way because I told y'all that a long time ago, years ago, I did this video, but I did a a video a month ago, and then I did a video on it yesterday about y'all wearing those hair bonnets to be. And thinking that your man laying next to you and be like, ooh, yeah, baby, you look like Aunt your Mama. Give me some of that, sir. No, he not going to say that. He just is going to keep it to himself because men that are over a certain age, that are smart and wise, and that had several women in their lifetimes, been there and done that, they know how to, you know, keep their mouth shut and keep the peace to a certain extent. So they learn what they call how to pick their battles with us. Because they know that we'll go off in 0 0.4 seconds in a heartbeat. We'll go from, you know, being the sweetest woman to, you know, going straight to the juggler. They know that. So they're not going to try to make no beef about no hair bonding. Now Todd, little micro mini tail, he made some beef about the hair bonnet because he was just reaching. They call that reaching, meaning that you just reaching for any excuse up in the air to explain why you don't want to sleep with Bambi. I'm I'm sorry, Candy anymore. So Todd just reaching. But if y'all got a fan oh my god, I got so many comments. I got a couple comments was like well if 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 um that's true that y'all don't wear hair bonnets, all the ones that saying that's right Take them bonnets off your head. Y'all don't wrap y'all head at night. Okay, let me let me uh give you a resolution to that problem. Yeah, I said it's a problem. Let me give you the resolution to that. You can wrap your hair at night without having to put a big old big mama nineteen fifties shower cap looking like Aunt your mama on your head. You're not serving pancakes at night. Hopefully you're serving something else. You understand what I'm saying? So you shouldn't be looking like the syrup bottle. Now if you are one of those women, like I said, that choose to look pretty and dolled up for society, but yet you don't want to make that same effort in your relationship which matters more than what anybody else thinks, you know, to be dolled up for the man that actually will die for you. Hopefully you have that type of husband. 
And if you do, I personally think, this is my opinion, I personally believe and think that I'm going to spend time and more effort on looking nice for him. And no, at night you don't have to have a full face of MAC NC47 and, and uh, you know, the crimson um, eyebrow pencil um, and the, you know, um, yum yum MAC lipstick. You don't have to have all that. I didn't say that. When I say effort, I'm not talking about that. What I'm saying is that it's okay to wear something nice, a little nice nightgown. It doesn't have to be nipples all exposed and all. It don't have to be freaky deaky. But that's up to you. You like it, I love it. But what I'm saying is that, you know, just when you out spending money on, you know, shirts and, and nice outfits and maxi dresses and we spend money on that, Go to the lingerie section. Even my plus size sisters. That's why I do videos and show you guys things that I purchase, where I get them from, how much I pay for them, and all that kind of stuff. I do that because I'm showing you, sister, you don't have to break the bank, but you still can look fly on a dime. Hello. So that's why I show you guys. I've even done lingerie hauls on here. I don't spend no more than ten dollars, maybe pushing it, fifteen dollars for some of my lingerie. Now I do have those, you know, um, you know, long flowing, you know, with the match and grow. I have those. You know, I have those. I like to use those when I go on my cruises and stuff so I can feel like Diana Ross or something. But I make sure every night it's not a treat in my house. To have nice lingerie on going to bed. That's not a treat. That's an everyday occurrence. And I've done that even when I was sick. And it's not all for him. It's also for you. Your grandmother ain't never taught y'all about how. Make sure that you got clean drawers on at night when you go to sleep. Because if something happened to you in the middle of the night. Hamlin's got to come in. You shouldn't be seen with you know nasty dirty drawers on. They got to cut your clothes off or something and you, you got nasty drawers. Y'all grandma ain't never tell y'all that? Nana ain't never told y'all that. Oh, some of y'all had the Nanas that still thought they were 20 years old and was still popping popping beers and playing cards and playing spades all night in the basement with the the, uh, the red light. Some of, some of y'all Nanas didn't really fill y'all in on everything. So, we as your sisters, even if we're the same age as you, we should all get together and talk like this. Because we learn stuff from each other. But instead of we feeling threatened by the next woman that maybe do something different than you, or you may feel somewhere, or, or feel insecure because she do this and you don't, cut it out. Cut it out. Because while y'all feeling like that, y'all should be listening and take, getting a notepad and a pen and taking some notes. That's what y'all should be doing. We can learn from each other if we, you know, push aside all that silliness, the cattiness, the underlying insecurities, the, the I don't like her because she look like this or she always wear this. So she, cut it out. Cut it out. Open your ears. And take notes. So, what I was saying was that, you know, it's not a rare occurrence in my house. And it doesn't take effort. Uh, one person said, oh my God. I was like, what? One person said, um, I, um, if you gotta go through all that for him, and you got to go do all this at night, then if he really love you, blah, 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 I stopped even listening after that. Because, listen, let me tell you something. That's one of those, again, messages that because you don't do what I or others were saying that, that we do, you felt some sort of way about it. It made you feel inadequate. And, mm, excuse me, y'all. That was my gum. It made, I don't edit videos. It made you feel inadequate in some way, shape, or form. Do you get what I'm saying? So, because you felt inadequate, 
you know, something was rising up inside of you, and that's where that came, that comment came from. Because if you're okay with doing what you do, then if you're really okay with it, it doesn't affect you in any way, shape, nor form hearing somebody else talk about what they did. You would be comfortable in your decision making and be comfortable in how you roll in your bed with your mate. But if you feel uncomfortable with what we're saying and it feels like you're threatened a little bit, that's your issue. Not mine and not some of my viewers that agreed with me. So, I just uh, feel like, just like we can go out and buy expensive lipsticks and stuff like that, stop in the lingerie section. Get yourself a couple of them. If you see them for a good price, get yourself every color of that same one. And wear it to bed. Don't you want to feel beautiful at all times? And it doesn't take you, like I said, so don't use the excuse of, because that's what people will use. I'm not going with, um, to be able to all that makeup on and stuff like that. Stop it. Because a lot of people, I'm, I'm going to do a video on that. A lot of people always say stuff about makeup, but as soon as y'all ready to go out, y'all the first ones to run to um, the store to go get some Dollar Tree or some Dollar General or some local hair store lipstick and eyeshadow. If y'all so anti-makeup, why y'all run to it when y'all want to do a special event and go somewhere special? And I found that a lot of women, to be honest with you, a lot of women don't like makeup because they can't apply it properly or they look like a transvestite of when they do add it on. Boom. Because some women put makeup on and A, it's not blended. B, the color is on the whole entire eye up to their forehead with no transitional color. B, they don't know what an inner or outer V is or nor a waterline. Or C, they look like a man with makeup on. We've all seen these, these things. We've all seen people do those things. So don't act like you ain't never experienced it or seen it. You just probably surprised that I called her out. Boom. Again. So I don't want to hear that using that excuse or t try to bring up something about, oh, gee, she said you got to have makeup on and all that. Anybody got time for all that? I did not say anything about makeup. I should hope if you want to have beautiful skin. And you want to have skin that is extremely smooth and nice complexion without blemishes and all those things. I should hope that you don't sleep in your makeup. I should hope that you do remove all of that makeup. But being sexy, being confident, loving your femininity, being a lady... That doesn't define your, your lipstick or your eyeshadow isn't defined by that. So I'm not even speaking on going to bed with a full face of makeup and all that. I'm not talking about that. Stop reaching, like I said, Todd is doing. Reaching for something to to disagree with. I said stop wearing those hair bonnets to bed because it's not cute. Nor is it sexy. It's just that our husbands, and hopefully you have this type of husband, sometimes our husbands will look beyond that and say, hey, that's still my baby. And that's great. But then don't get mad when he look on a movie and see how she go to bed with her husband, even on TV, and he like looking like, damn, I wish my wife did that. Don't get mad when you catch them looking like that. Don't get mad when you catch them lusting after how somebody else carries their relationship or marriage. 
Don't get mad when y'all at a comedy show and the comedian talks about this and your husband busts out laughing because he like, that's my wife. She did the same thing. Don't get mad. That's all I'm saying. You like it, I love it. Do you? That's the thing. Unlike y'all, I don't try to make you do anything other than doing yourself. I just ask that people allow me to be and do me. And my real viewers and my real sugar lumps, they understand that grown people, we disagree. You're not going to agree with everything. That's normal. But if you really care about somebody and you generally want to roll with them, despite them being wrong in your eyes or despite them saying something that you didn't like, you basically like, I ain't listening to Kiana. Kiana crazy. You know, we joke about it. Or we like, anyway, next, Kiana, I ain't even listening to you. That's what people do when they really want to roll, roll with you. But when they're not real riders, you know what they do? Oh, I, I, um, I can't talk to her. I can't view her no more. Mm -mm. Thumbs down, thumbs down, unsubscribe. It doesn't matter if you unsubscribe because guess what? I'm in your head. Clearly. And you what you, what you going to do? Run right back to my videos. Un unsubscribed and all, you're going to still view. Thank you. Why? Because I'm already in your head. You already feel some sort of way. And you want to be nosy. Yeah. I know women. Not only my one, but I've been around millions of them. So, we've already established that. So, people get mad, feeling some sort of way, because I said them hair bonnets need to go. I said this three years ago. I said this four weeks ago. And now that Van Can Candy and Todd is having issues, and he mentioned it, now it's like social media want to like really be talking about this and in-depth interviews and and videos and comments about it but women that have always been very feminine very ladylike we've been doing this we've been new to, not to do that that ain't nothing new to us it, that that's new to them new school women it's a trip because you see these women wanting to show every damn thing walking up and down the streets they want to show everything booty cheeks camel toes they want to show the breasts, the cleavage. They want to show everything. But yet, they'll come to bed with a hair on it. If I was a man, I'd be like, I need a refund. Because you sold me something that I need to return because clearly it was a misleading situation. I would be asking for a full refund. Because I got with you, you showing everything, and now when we get in the bedroom, when you really should be showing everything, or you really should be, you know, trying to, you know, be a little sexy or whatever, now you want to wear the hair on it. Refund. Mm-mm. Refund, please, and thank you. It's a trip. It is a trip. But, again, y'all do y'all, and I'm going to do me. But at the same time, just like y'all are allowed to have an opinion and voice yourself, don't think it's a big issue or something weird if I do the same. Where's the problem in that? Sound like an even exchange to me. You have your opinion. You voice your thoughts. I have my opinion. I voice my thoughts. Yeah, sound about right. Sound about right. So... I just ask that you don't be all, you know, some spirits, you know, rising up inside of you. And if you if you feel like that, then that's fine. But take that mess somewhere else. Please do. Because my pressure is, is, is at a nice normal number. So, and I don't need it to rise all over you. Anyway, alright y'all, just chit-chatting, talking smack, all that. 
Alright, so if y'all haven't seen my other videos, go check them out. Some of y'all gonna get mad. Some of y'all gonna laugh. My true riders, y'all gonna laugh. Because I'll be laughing at them. I don't care if y'all laugh. I'll be laughing. And sometimes you gotta laugh so you don't cry. I deal with a lot of things. And this neuropathy is, is, is not looking good. And it's damn sure don't feel good. But, um, so, being that I have it like this and it's so severe and I have, you know, other issues and stuff like that. And then I still have to make sure I juggle businesses and stuff like that. I still had to raise children. I still had to be a wife. And still had to, you know, help my daughter because she's transitioning from, you know, being a teenager to actually being a woman now. And making sure she continues on her path of knowing who she is and, and um, making sure that men respect her and making sure that she also remains pure and all those kind of things even though she's almost 20 in a couple of what a couple of weeks she'll be 20 years old I'm too busy doing that I got my hands on a lot of stuff you understand so yeah I, I ain't got time I ain't got the time nor the patience so um go check out those other videos it's two it's one right before this I'm gonna give you the names of them It's people probably got a problem with me. Um, people be having problems with every day going thing I do, but they don't have problems with nothing else. Nobody else. Y'all some crazy people. Y'all just as crazy. Anyway, one is called "Why Did I Tell Y'all?" What did I tell y'all about going to bed with those bonnets on? And then the other one that you should look at is look. I'm going to read y'all one last time. Then another one you want to check out, which is right right before that one, is called Section 8 and Some Unspoken Truth um, about my career and one of our family businesses. And on that one I talk about, because people, you know, for the longest time used to say stuff about I'm on Section 8 and all that kind of bull crap, and I had to show evidence. Yup, I had to show evidence. I love it when I can prove somebody wrong, because then they be silent. So then they got to find something else. They got to start reaching. Mm-hmm. I love it. I sit back and laugh about it. I get my um, mandatory uh, five chuckles or six chuckles a day. Cat Williams used to say you got to get at least you mandatory. It's mandatory. It's like Congress then, then passed the, the bill that it's mandatory that you get five to six chuckles every day at any expense. So, I get all of mine, and then some. So, like I said, y'all like me, like me or don't like me. That's fine with me. I'm going to get my five to six chuckles a day. So, alright, you guys. <laughs> anyway, I will talk to you guys later. Alright, I didn't uh, talk enough, and talk enough smack. So, I'm sure I'll hear loads of comments that will add on to my mandatory chuckles. Alright you guys, be blessed.